Hello everyone, uh, my name is Robert Ho. In this video tutorial, I will discuss about Enigma machine, which is a series of electromechanical rotor cipher machine that was developed and used in the early to mid 20th century to protect commercials, diplomatic, and military communication. The Enigma machine uh, was used by the Nazi German during World War II. Okay? This machine was invented by the engineer named Arthur Scherbius at the end of World War I. Okay? Uh, and during the World War II, uh, Nazi German used this Enigma machine to communicate with their troops or army in different parts of the world. I will show you the elements of uh, Enigma machine and how it works. Okay, so let's talk about the, the elements of Enigma machine. The first one you need to know is called the rotor, right? You have the rotor and their order. This is called the rotor, right? The rotor uh, consists of the rotor consists uh, of a disc that approximately 10 centimeter diameter. 10 centimeter diameter is about 4 inches. Okay, made from the ebonite with a 26 brass spring loaded with electrical contact pins. Okay, so the pins and the contact represent the alphabet typically. 26 letters from A to Z. Okay, so we have three rotors here. Sometimes they have four or five, but minimum is three. So this is called rotor one, rotor two, and rotor three. It has alphabetical order A to Z. Okay, so that's the rotor. Okay. Uh, this, the rotor starting position is here. The rotor starting position is there. In this uh, figure, I have four rotors, but assume that we have only three. So the starting position is D, B, D, K, and P. Okay, that's the starting position. Mean. Okay. The next one is called the lamp board. Okay, the lamp board. What is the lamp board? So when you type A. The light will on, for example, E. But the second time you type A, it will not show E again. Maybe it can be like a G. Okay. That's the second time. The third time that the user click A, it will give you the another answer again. Again, for example, is Z or C. How does it work? Well, I will explain to you in the future, in the later explanation. But uh, the element is the rotor, the lamp board, and then the keyboard. This is the keyboard that the user enter. Okay? And the last element is called plug board. What is plug board? Here we go. I like to show you the plug board. Okay. What is a plug board? This is a cable placed onto the plug board that connected letters in a pairs. For example, the E. The letter of E may be connected to the Q, okay? May be connected to the Q, but in this case, A is connected to the J, right? And S connected to what? What letter is this? We can check that afterward, okay? But that is the concept. For example, E and Q, E connect to the Q might be called a stacker pair a stacker pair so the effect was to swap those letter before and after the main rotor scrambling unit for example when the operator press e the signal diverted to the q before entering the motor okay so when we enter this for example where is this so when we enter the letter of e it diverted into q 
and then kick the rotor then it will show you the numbers okay so that is the algorithm how it works okay uh, that is called the plug board setting so every month the nazi the nazi german uh, commander they send like a uh, an, an encryption key to all the troops okay in all different places every day that encryption key consists of this uh, pair of uh, connected letter all right pair of connected letter so for example monday maybe e connect to q and then on tuesday a connected to j okay and then s may be connected to this on the other time so every day this plug board connection pair is changing that is that was make it difficult to to break the encryption at that time because the key is always changing every day unless you know where it is gonna be the connected pair you won't be able to decrypt the things okay uh, so this enigma machine uh, is quite popular okay that they use during the the war okay um, what else here i think that's about it right uh, i will post this I will post this paper on the blackboard so you have the information. Just remember that uh, this machine is used to protect communication during World War II when Nazi want to communicate with their troops in different parts of the world. So their key combination is keep changing every 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 day, right? like this pair the connected pair is keep changing is called the plug board and then it's time that the rotor move you see this so when you when you click a it will sh when you click e it will show you q as this turn as the first wheel turn the second wheel also turn so it's dynamic it's not static when the second wheel turn the third one is also turn so if you don't know the key it is really difficult to decrypt the message okay uh, i hope that this video is informative to you and helped you to understand uh, the history of encryption during world war ii thank you